Well Ben, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm now off to Thailand. This is the last time I'll see you in the UK. I know you'll be joining me very soon. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, fast forward this bit. It's got a bit slower than expected. <laughs> <laughs> wow, princess driving the vehicle. This is my mate George and he's currently working remotely out in Thailand with his girlfriend Ellie. But he also wants me to just quit everything in the UK and go work remotely out there too. Well, as much as I'd love to now and I could afford to, I want to at least finish my degree first. But that doesn't stop me from going out there to get a taste of it. And I thought, what better way to go out there than just rock up as a surprise? Okay. I think I've found a flight. Lastminute.com. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, so I think the plan is flying to Bangkok. No hotels booked or anything. This is due to fly this Saturday on the 3rd. I'm working in London on Friday, so it looks like I'm doing a last minute hotel, stay overnight on the Friday, and then get the flight midday on Saturday. So hopefully, if I have done this, I should arrive midday on the Sunday, which gives me just enough time, the time difference going in my favour, because I've also got an assignment due on the Sunday at midnight. So yeah, this could likely be a disaster, but either way, it's just gonna be funny. So I'm just going to Thailand. Oh, I'm so gassed now. And there we have it. Oh, we've literally just bought a last minute return flight to Thailand. It's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. Right, I think I better prepare. Right, I've just got the first hotel of the trip, so I can crash at Heathrow the night before. And there's nothing better than last minute packing. <laughs> So I'm in a Premier Inn for the night, here down in London Heathrow, and I just had a meeting with one of the partners I work with in London all day, and it's literally going to be my first long haul flight tomorrow, flying with Emirates, stopping off in Dubai for a couple hours, and then going straight to Bangkok, and then once I'm at the other end, I'm going to see if I can get a connecting flight to where George is out in Koh Samui, or I'm just going to stay the one night in Bangkok. One night in Depending on how much leftover I've got of this assignment, that's literally due in about a day's time. And of course I've hardly done any of it. Whereas in the meantime, when I should be doing my assignment, I'm sitting here making my movie playlist for the flight. Also, look at the state of this. This here, 4K in Bart's notes. 500. Pretty cool. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing, but I managed to scab out a flight last minute, just rock up to the ticket office, paid £100 for a direct flight to Koh Samui, trying to find my flight. Oh yeah, PG A and Right, I've finally made it in Koh Samui. Got this very romantic hotel room for the next two nights for something of the equivalent of just under 50 pounds. First things first, I need to get out of these clothes and have a shower. Because it's like 30 degrees here and I'm still wearing trousers. The exact same outfit I was wearing, obviously all the way back in London. So I'm gonna do that and quickly get ready. But the next task is working out George's exact location. So I might be here a while running around the island without knowing exactly where he is. Luckily, with help from his girlfriend, I knew where they were staying and when to come meet them. If you moments later. So I've just been speaking to George and I already know what hotel he's staying at but I'm still asking the questions on the story and I sold it as if I'm still in the UK by swiping up to a story acting as if I have no idea and it's saying that how much better it is than the UK and yeah I keep subtly saying things like this. But they've just gone out for dinner so I thought I'd at least wait till they finished eating. I don't know how I'm gonna do this but I've got to surprise them somehow. After speaking to the boys about a potential plan all I had to do now was just get to there. <laughs> Oh, 
不是只有我会人，不就是只有我会人？依靠那里，依靠在那里，我忘忘记在哪。I can't lie, this is a very peak situation because I do not want to go and knock on the wrong door with a camera in their face. Oh, for f sake, why can't I connect to Wi Fi? Okay. And just when I thought that all hope was lost and thinking that I'd come all this way just to fail at the last stretch, his girlfriend came out and found me and showed me to their room. Sent you a message saying you actually coming. Yeah, when you said that. What the? F oh my god. <laughs> well, let me let me just conceal a little bit. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> this won't hurt the town, will it? If I do this. Oh, I'm fine now. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> I basically. Um, when did you get it? Later that night. It's currently four to six in the morning. As you can see by my background, where exactly I am. And long story short, I had an assignment due for midnight over in the UK time, which here is about 7 a.m. in the morning. And I have so many issues just accessing my work laptop. So I've been typing out a full assignment on the Word app on my phone. So yeah, I still haven't had any sleep from any of the flights I've had coming here. So I'm pretty much closing in on going 48 hours of no sleep. But anyway, assignments out of the way, work's out of the way. I've kept my mat back in the UK just so I don't get tempted to edit at night and just enjoy myself for this next two weeks and hopefully at the same time get some good content.